Hey guys, welcome to June. You guys have done it. Awesome job. Um, today for math, we're going to do something a little different. We have been doing a lot of worksheets lately. I know that, and I know it's not always fun. Um, we're missing out on like our math centers, our math games, like different things that we're able to do that is just not able to do at home this way through teaching this way. So what I thought about this weekend is I'm like, you know what? I want the kids to play a, a money game. So I create like a little money game for you guys just to work on practicing um, counting coins and making a certain value. So let me share with you what I made first. So there are some posters here that would have been in our classroom um, and you guys would have been able to reference it. Um, so they are just like little poems and posters that we would head up and that just remind us of what our coins look like, how much they're worth, um, and just like a little poem. So it's penny, penny, easily spent, copper, brown, and worth one cent. So this is a penny and it's worth one cent. And then right here we have a nickel and it's worth five cents. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat, worth five cents. I know that. And we have dime right here, which is worth 10 cents. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. And then our last one here is quarter. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I'm told. So those just really simple posters that I would have had up in the room for you guys to reference. Um, but to our game. So what I've got here, let me see if it'll pull up. Okay, so you're gonna need three pieces of paper. It can be computer paper, um, lined notebook paper. It can be index cards, the back of um, a problem set that's empty or any workbook page that we have that's empty. You can use the back of that if you're done with it. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to have to draw two columns of two. Actually, I'm sorry, two columns of three. So what you're gonna do is draw a line right down the middle of your paper with one, two lines that go across because we are gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six squares. Now this is gonna be your plain mat. This is what you're gonna do when you build your um, values here. And on these lines here, I'm not sure what happened to the lines down here, but you can just write the total number that you're going to make. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make these cards here. So you're gonna have three rows of three. So you're gonna draw two lines across, two lines down, and you're just gonna put numbers inside of them, numbers one through nine, and you're gonna put them in a cup or in a hat or whatever you want, shake them up and draw out two. When you draw out two, you're gonna put them together and you're gonna make a number. So say you draw the number five and the number eight, you can make 58 or you can make 85, it's up to you. And then you go here and you're gonna write 85 on this line, but 85 cents with the C with the line after it. And you're gonna show me how you can make 85 cents using your coins. Here's another poster that you guys, like while you're playing your game, if you wanna pause the video right here, um, I will also upload this as a PDF. So if you guys do have a printer at home, you can print out these three pages, but you don't have to. You can even copy this poster if you want to. Make a line down, a line across. Our penny is worth one cent. And when you guys draw out money, what you do is you just draw a circle in it and you can put your P right inside. So this way you know that you were making a penny. Same thing for a nickel, nickel's worth five cents and you draw your circle and you put your N. I made the nickel circle a little bit bigger just so this way you guys remember it's, um, it's a bigger coin but it's still only worth five cents. Then we have our dime which is worth 10 cents, circle with the D in it, that's how you would draw the dime. And then our quarter which is worth 25 cents, so a circle with a Q in it. Now, I know that you guys can all count by ones, fives, and tens to 100 pretty easily, but 25s is a little different. So when you're counting with your quarters, so I put here one quarter is 25, two quarters is 50, 
three quarters is 75, four quarters is 100, which is also the same as $1. So 2550, 75, a dollar or 100. Okay, guys? So again, you can pause this video right here. Um, so you can see this little poster as a cheat sheet if you want to, to help you. Um, remember, do these, cut them out, put them in a cup, shake them up, draw two, write your value, and then draw using this right here, either your penny, nickel, dime, or quarter. That's what you're gonna draw in these squares up here to make that value. Guys, have fun with this. It's like a little game. Instead of doing a worksheet and watching a long video with me talking at you guys, I want you guys to kind of be able to play. So um, take pictures of you guys playing your game um, and have fun with it, guys. Again, I will upload the PDF. So if you guys do have a printer and want to print this out, you can. If not, these things are easy to make at home. Um, and I was going to show you guys these, but when I show you, it makes it look backwards. But they're all very easy, whoops, that's upside down even, to make at home. That's all I did. And I'm actually going to have um, Wesley play this game today as well, because he needs help with money. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. I hope you have a great Monday. Bye.